Hi everyone, I've been busy and out for some time, but today I've brought an amazing topic for you all which is localization in Laravel. Most often when you visit a website you can see there is an option for selecting a language from a drop down or somewhere for your ease. Now how can we achieve this in Laravel? For this I have just installed a new Laravel project and connected it to database. And I have also installed Laravel Breeze package to get the basic authentication and home page and that will be enough for us. On the login page I have also added 3 new links for each language. One for English, French and Spanish. And they will allow us to change the locale of our Laravel application. Now if we open our app.php configuration file and scroll down a little bit we can see locale and fallback locale. This is where we set our default locale for our Laravel application and in case default locale fail the fallback one will be used. So now if we look into our root directory we can see a lang folder and inside there is an en directory by default. Previously in Laravel 8 we had this folder inside the resources. And this is where our translation for each language is going to be stored. So let's say we want to allow French on our website. So for this I'm just going to copy English folder and rename it to FR which stands for French. And I've also just replaced the English text with the French text using the Google Translate. The three links we added in the login page, it will allow us to change the locale of our application. So when our user click on the French, the locale will be set to French. In order to parse the keys to actual translation, we can use underscore underscore brackets or we can use a traditional way of using trans method, which also takes a key as a parameter. But right now localization won't work because even though we have the translation added for each key in the French, we haven't specified the logic on how to change the actual locale of our application. So in order to do that, we can use middleware and the request session for this purpose. Because we don't want a logic to be executed on a specific route. Instead, we want it on any request. So if there is something we want to execute on every request, we use middleware. Now let's create a middleware for this. So I'm gonna create a new middleware and name it localization. Our logic is going to be really simple. If there is a locale key in the current request, we are going to update the locale of our app. Otherwise, we are doing nothing. So now let's register our middleware in the kernel.php file. And now let's open up our login blade file. And inside, I'm just going to replace the register with auth.register because inside the lang folder for each language we have an auth file and inside the key name is a register. So auth.register and I'm also going to replace login with auth.login. I've added a key value pair in the translation for each of them. Now let's go back to our application and see how things look like. Now if I click on the French we can see that the translation has changed the register and login to French. Now let's go a step further and let me show you how we can add dynamic attributes in our localization. For this I'm going to create a new file profile.php in both en directory and fr directory. And inside I'm going to define a key welcome. And in the value I'm going to say welcome back and colon name. Now here colon name is a dynamic property which we will be passing from where we are actually using this translation. So now let's open up our dashboard file and inside I'm going to replace you are logged in with the translation we just created for welcome. And we need to pass in the dynamic attribute which is going to be the name of our authenticated user. Let's go back to the browser and we can see our translation followed by our dynamic property. So this is how we use localization in Laravel. And in case we are using a single page application for the front end, we can also send in X locale property inside the header. So with this we cover almost most of the use cases we may need for localization. Of course this doesn't include localization of data that is stored inside the database. But if you want to know more on this like the database scenario or even plurals, let me know in the comment section below. For now. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.